Welcome back. It's time for our fitness segment with Barbie Markey. I'm already warming up. All right. All right. Well, today she's going to tell us about why, as Rosh mentioned, you should warm up properly before a workout. That's right. So never skip the warm up. This okay. is a hugely important thing. You could pull a muscle. You could easily get injured. That's two major reasons to never skip the warm up. It will enhance your performance, so you'll just do your workout much better, mm -hmm. get more out of it, and then. We want to prevent injury, so we want to be able to work out. We don't want to pull those muscles. So you're sitting at a desk all day, hunched over a computer, and then you get to the gym or you get out for a run, but if you don't warm up, you're much more at risk for injury. So okay. we've got to do the dynamic warm up. At Barb Markey Fitness, we always start with foam rolling, which is kind of self myofascial release, get the muscles loose, and then we get into a dynamic warm up. What is a dynamic warm up? So a dynamic warm up is for, uh, as opposed to static stretching. We don't just want to stand still and stretch the muscles. We want to be moving and work that mobility and range of motion. So you want to give it a try? Do no, a couple of our okay, staple moves. All okay, right, so you it. can do it right here, standing in place. Sometimes we'll do it across the floor, but you, you don't need tons of space. So first we'd start with knee hugs. So we're using the balance and the lower abdominal, the lower core muscles, mm -hmm. and we'll just alternate, alternate legs. So bringing That's the knee I, up. Sometimes my balance completely fluctuate some days i'm um, okay ah. other days i'm just so you wobbly. could even do this at your desk you could mm -hmm. even just set a timer give yourself a couple minutes break and use the core work that balance so we'll do a few of those okay. then we'll take our hands behind our head knee crosses to that elbow so now we're still working the balance okay but we're activating those core muscles so you're treating every one of these like a crunch so the abdominal muscles okay. are getting engaged and then we're working the glutes and hamstrings. This is all meant to warm up the total body. I'm hot. <laughs> all right, I'm sweating. <laughs> the last one that is imperative, this is called the world's greatest stretch. I'm gonna get on the floor and show you this. Okay. But it's basically a runner's lunge. So a nice big long stride lunge that you would do before a run, they call it a runner's lunge. But then you're gonna twist the body up to the ceiling. So you're getting that deep hip stretch and twisting through the spine. So bringing that flat foot up as far as you can get it, and then we're twisting. So it's a real total body movement. I'm gonna go through a few of those. So I would either set a timer for 30 seconds each movement, and then we would get into our workout. The best is when okay. you get then a couple pops in your spine. Yeah, you do go. that. It's like, you feel everything oh, yeah. <laughs> waking up, creating that space okay. is what we're. I want to take a pass on this because my tailored suit may just uh, yeah, yeah, the yeah, arms come that. loose and the uh, the <laughs> seat in the pants goes. We don't want know, to have a, any seats. We have a we have a wardrobe malfunction here. On exactly. The side. But exactly. My co-anchor is dressed for speed this morning. She yeah. can do that. Do you want to try okay. it? Sure. Give it a All try. Right. Okay. So I'm down right. world's right. greatest lunge. And, and then, then I'm going this way. Yep. Twist up to the ceiling. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that form. Oh. Oh yes. She's got you owe me for that, by the way. <laughs> World's greatest stretch. If you take one thing away, that would be a great dynamic movement to I'm do stretching before right here. any move. Look at that. Perfect. Not even impinged by the suit. No, perfect form. <laughs> you perfect. know what though? I always wear the suit on Monday so I can cop out. <laughs> so Barbie, one of the problems I have, and probably a lot of people at home too, once you're done your workout, mm -hmm. I'm done, I'm, I just right. want to change my clothes. On to the next on thing. On to the next thing. But how important, how vital is it really to then stretch at the end of your workout? Stretching is super important too. So static stretching, like I mentioned before, perfect at the end of the workout. But if you have to skip something, skip the stretching, not the warm-up. The warm-up ah, is more important. That's good to know. <laughs>